Hello, my name is Rogers Jackson. I am the pastor of the Emanuel Baptist Church, 8301 South Damon Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60620. I will be sharing with you Sunday School Reflections for Sunday, October 8th, 2020. 23. The subject of the lesson is titled, Finding Life and Freedom. Finding Life and Freedom. The scriptures are found in Romans chapter 7, verses 1 through 12. Finding Life and Freedom. Freedom. Romans chapter 7, verses 1 through 12. Lesson aims. Better understand the Apostle Paul's teaching concerning the role of God's laws in guiding our lives in the right direction. Number two. Listen to the Holy Spirit's prompting of your conscience, convicting you of sin. Number three, evaluate and renew your commitment in accepting God's guidelines for doing right. Romans chapter 7 verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. The A clause of verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, who are in a unity with you in the fellowship of love. For I speak to them that know the law of Moses, how that the law governs us justifiably. It judges us fairly and rightly. And the law has dominion, power, and authority over man or woman as long as he or she liveth. Verse 2. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband, so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. The A clause of verse 2. For the woman which hath an husband is bound and tied morally and spiritually by law to her husband, a man who meets her needs with benevolence and kindness. Verse 3. So then, if, while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. The A clause of verse 3. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress who is unfaithful. The B clause of verse 3. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the law 
so that she is no adulteress who is unfaithful, though she be married to another man. Verse 4. Wherefore, my brethren, you also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. The A clause of verse 4. Wherefore, as a result, my brethren, you also are become dead in the law that is no longer in force by the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him, the Lord Jesus, who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit of good works unto God. Verse 5. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. The A clause. For when we were in the flesh of our sinful passions and desires, the motions of sins which cause and calls us to suffer affliction, which were by the law of Moses, did work in our members of our body to bring forth fruit of God's sanctification and the good works to the praise of God. Verse 6. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. The A clause of verse 6. But now we are delivered and brought from the law of Moses, that being dead, wherein we were held. The B clause. That we should serve with newness and renewal of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter of the law of Moses. Verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. The A clause of verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin or evil? God forbid. And stop it completely. The B clause. Nay, no, I had not known sin, but by the law, that governs us justifiably, fairly, and rightly. The C clause. For I had not known lust and sinful desires, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet being a lover of the things of others. Verse 8, but sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin.
sin was dead. The A clause of verse 8. But sin that misses the true end and scope of our lives, taking occasion and opportunity by the commandment, wrought and worked in me all manner of concupiscence of lustful desires that have only evil connotations. The B clause of verse 8. For without the law, sin was dead, being broken into spiritual pieces. Verse 9. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. The eighth clause of verse 9. For I, Paul, was alive with the law, once governing me justifiably, fairly, and rightly. But when the commandment, teaching and instructing us came, sin and straying from the way of life revived, and I died a spiritual death. Verse 10. And the commandment which was ordained to life I found to be unto death. The A clause of verse 10. And the commandment which was ordained to life, the rule of righteousness, teaching those statutes which if a person shall live in them. Leviticus 18 and 5. I, Paul, was found to be unto death. Verse 11. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. The A clause of verse 11. For sin, going against the Lord's law, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived and led us into the wrong way of error. And by sin, it slew, putting me in a spiritual death. Verse 12. For wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy, and just and good. The A clause. Wherefore, as a result, the law of God is holy, upright, and righteous. Just what is good that brings and renews quality to life. These are a few reflective comments for our Sunday, October 8, 2023, Sunday School Lesson, Finding Life and Freedom. Let us pray. Great God, our Father, we thank you for the word, the word that guides us, the word that directs us, the word that moves us into a life that is lived for your glory. We thank you now, and we praise you for this victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Go forward, my friends, and serve the Lord. Praise be to God, who gives us the victory. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen.